The first upgrade of the grinder take the name of Civil Grinder. It will have new recipes that includes the cast iron pipe, the cast iron nails and the metal hinge. To obtain it you have to go to the top right side of the Sandrock city where you have to enter inside the research center. Here you will find NPC called the Chi you have to speak to. Between its social options you have to choose that third one called the research. If you already researched the grinder you'll notice that underneath you will be able to research also the civil grinder. It will require 16 data disks to be researched and it will take 4 days to be done. Obviously you also can spend more data disks in order to speed up the process. But once done you will receive a mail from the research center in your mailbox. Opening it and acquiring the item inside it you will be able to learn the recipe for the civil grinder. At this point you have two options in order to obtain it. The first is to upgrade the already existing one. While for the second you will need to interact with the unassembly station where on the second page you will find the civil grinder. In both cases it will require some bronze plate, copper gear, manganese steel bar and engine to be built. The main difference is that if you will decide to build it you will consume more ingredients. Well, if you will decide to upgrade the already existing one, you will consume less ingredients, but you will need to an extra one called the Machine Upgrade Kit. Speaking about the bronze plate, that is the first ingredient of the recipe. In order to farm it, you have to progress in the mastery line until you will build the hydrogel. Once this will happen, to the bottom right side from the workshop, around the Aphala salvage, you will find some hypersleep chambers. Mining them down has a high chance to reward you with some bronze plates. In case you want to obtain this resource earlier, you have to interact with the processor, where you will find its recipe that will require 3 bronze bars in order to produce one bronze plate. Speaking about the bronze bars you need for this recipe, before you will be able to obtain it, you have to progress in the main storyline until you will build a crane lift that will allow you to access the abandoned ruins. Immediately after you can go above your workshop where you will find a hammer time shop, from where you will be able to buy up to 20 bronze bars each day for a price of 47 gold each. In case you don't want to buy them, go back to your workshop and interact with the furnace, where you will find a recipe that will allow you to convert 3 copper ore and 2 tin ore into 1 bronze bar. To obtain the copper ore you need for this recipe, reach the abandoned ruins. In this dungeon you will find several copper nodes you will be able to mine in order to obtain the copper ore. Occasionally you will get it also by mining the terrain. In alternative, if you want to save your stamina, you can reach the Euphala salvage shop to the bottom right side from your workshop. Here you will be able to buy up to 50 copper ore each day for a price of 4 gold each. Speaking about the tin ore, you need to visit again the abandoned ruins. Inside these dungeons you have to proceed further until reaching the third level. In fact, only from this level you will find some tin ore nodes. Mining them will give you the tin ore you need. Occasionally from the third level you also will find the tin ore by mining the terrain as well. In case you want to obtain the tin ore and also save your stamina, you can do so by visiting the Eufala salvage shop located slightly to the bottom right side from your workshop. In the right corner of this building you will find a cash desk you have to interact with. This will allow you to buy up to 30 tin ore each day for a price of 8 gold. Another way to obtain the bronze bars can be achieved after you will complete the quest that will require you to repair the hydrogel. The next day, go to the bottom right side from your workshop and visit the Ufala salvage junkyard, where you will find a new type of junk called ruined boost frame. Mining it down, besides receiving other ingredients, you will also obtain some bronze bars. Time to speak about the copper gear that is the second ingredient of the recipe. You will be able to farm it directly only after completing the hydrogel and reaching the Ufala salvage junkyard where occasionally you will find a mechanical junk pile. Mining it down has a good chance to give you some copper gears. A little tip, during the exploration of dungeon and secret caves, don't forget to loot all the junk piles. 
Some of them will reward you with the copper gear. Anyway, if you want to obtain the copper gear earlier, you have to visit the bottom right side of the Sandrock city, where you need to enter inside the Commerce Guild building. Then, immediately on the right, you have to interact with the cash desk. This will allow you to buy the copper gear recipe for 62 gold. Now that you have it, go back to your workshop and interact with the grinder, where now you will be able to use a recipe that will allow you to convert two copper bars into one copper gear. Speaking about the copper bars you need for this recipe, the easier way to obtain it is by going to the shop called Hammer Time. From here you will be able to buy up to 20 copper bars each day for a price of 26 gold each. In case you don't want to buy it, go to the Ufala Salvage uh, Junkyard. Initially here you will find some mixed junk piles. Mining those will reward you with some copper scraps. That next, by placing them inside the recycler you have a high chance to find some copper bars. Progressing in the storyline, inside the junkyard will appear also some metal junk piles. That besides some copper scraps will also drop directly the copper bars as well. Near the junkyard you also will find the Eufala Salvage Shop, from where you will be able to buy 10 copper scraps each day for a price of 25 gold each. While to obtain the copper scraps passively you have to progress in the storyline until you will unlock a mine quest called Keep on the Rockin. After you will be able to complete this quest, in the central part of the Eufala Salvage Shop you will be able to interact with the desk. This will allow you to access the supply delivery. This will allow you to buy and upgrade the contract, that every day will deliver in the box that will appear near your mailbox some copper scraps with other materials. There is also another important method in order to obtain the copper bars. To do so you have to interact with a furnace that will allow you to convert free copper ore into one copper bar. For the copper ore itself, it was already explained in this video, so use the timestamp if you missed it. Speaking about the manganese steel bar that is the third ingredient of the recipe, to obtain it you have to interact with the civil furnace, where you will find its recipe that will require 3 iron ore and 2 manganese ore in order to be able to produce one manganese steel bar. Speaking about the iron ore that is the first ingredient of this recipe, you will be able to obtain it only after repairing the hydrogen. Next, visit the Ophala Salvage Shop. In the right corner of this building, interact with the cash desk. After completing the quest mentioned previously, you will be able to buy up to 40 iron ore each day for a price of 16 gold. In case you don't want to buy it but farm it, you have to proceed in the mine quest line until you will repair a bridge. This bridge will allow you to access a new area and immediately in its top right side you will find a gecko station ruins entrance. Inside this dungeon you have to find and mine some yellow nodes called the pirite. By mining those you will be able to collect the iron ore. You also can find occasionally the iron ore by mining the terrain in these dungeons as well. At this point it's time to speak about the manganese ore that is the second ingredient of this recipe. Similarly to the iron ore, after you will repair the hydrogel visit the Ufala salvage shop. Then in the right corner of this room you have to interact with the cash desk. This will allow you to buy up to 20 manganese ore each day for a price of 20 gold each. In case you don't want to buy it, similarly to the iron ore, you have to proceed in the mine storyline until you will repair the bridge and reach the gecko station ruins. Inside these dungeons you have to proceed till the layer 3. In our layers from that herd you will find some blue nodes to mine. Doing so will allow you to collect the manganese ore you came for. Occasionally you will find also this material by mining the terrain. At this point it's time to speak about the fourth ingredient called the engine. The easier way to obtain it is by going to the Ufala salvage shop. In this right corner you will find a cash desk you have to interact with, from where you will be able to buy one engine each day for a price of 128 gold. While well, in case you want to farm it you have to access the abandoned ruins. In this dungeon starting from the layer 7 you have to use the treasure detector. To reach the market locations you will need to mine down the terrain blocking the passage, but if you will do you have a chance to find an engine. 
Sometimes from these locations you will receive also some advancing toolboxes. Opening those you have a high chance to find an engine. For a more efficient way you have to repair the hydrogel. This will allow you in the bottom left corner of the city to visit the hazardous ruins. To enter inside you always have to pay 120 stamina. But in exchange at the end of each level you will always be able to loot a chest that has an engine inside. Locking the hazardous ruins uh, below them you also unlock the civil corpse as well. In the left corner of this building you will be able to access a notice board where you will be able to spend some gold in order to send other NPCs to visit the hazardous ruins at your place. Using the upper slider you also will be able to increase the amount of runs uh, the NPC have to do. For each run you will commission you will be able to obtain one engine all the way till five. Plus you will be able to issue up to three commissions at the same time. This means that you will be able to obtain up to 15 engines this way between 1 and 5 days. There is also an extra method that you can do while exploring secret caves and the quest dungeons. During these activities don't forget to loot the junk piles and all the white treasure chests. This is because sometimes they will reward you with some engines as well. In case you decided to upgrade the grinder instead of building it, you will need to learn also about the machine upgrade kit. For the first kit, I suggest you to reach the central upper area of the city where you will find the temple. From its back door, look to the right and you will notice under the huge red rock a chest. To bring it down, you have to pop the balloon above the chest using a throwing rock. You can find one of these rocks behind the base of the red stone. Anyway, speaking about the chest, once it will fall down, reach its location and open it and you will obtain the first machine upgrade kit. For the next method, before you will be able to farm it, you have to craft any type of weapon like a stone sword. Then around your workshop search for some yakmels and roosters. There are two types of yakmels, the normal and the alpha. The last one has a chance to drop the machine upgrade kit. For the rooster you have to search the one called the Koha Doodly Doom, that is the one that drops the machine upgrade kit. If you want to obtain these kits without using the stamina, reach the shop called the Hammer Time. Here you will be able to buy up to 5 machine upgrade kits each day for a price of 128 gold each.